Go. Hey guys, so I've got a dobby out my setup here. Um, just wanted to kind of give you a rough lowdown on um, the actual setup because I actually moved place, moved house with my wife, and I actually couldn't figure out how to set it up again. So I went through three days of kind of torturing away because um, uh, trying to sort that out. And so I've got a Q90R uh, soundbar, Dolby Atmos, 4K TV with a pass through DVD of Dolby, uh, 4K TV uh, DVD player of Dolby Atmos and Ultra HDs and so on and so forth. Anyway, so I actually set up. Dolby Atmos through the HDR cable, uh, settings on the TV, but there's a little trick to this now. To get Dolby Atmos to um, go through the TV to the soundbar, as well as from the DVD player to the soundbar, you have to do this thing, otherwise if you don't do this, you're not going to get it. And this is pretty much a very short version of it. Um, I'll try and go in the next couple of days to a bit of a Quicker, not quicker, but a bit of a longer demonstration. But this is a shorter version and easier in case people are in a rush and just want to get over and done with in the hour. So, or less. So, I'll just play the movie quickly. show the guys behind yeah as well so as you can see TV arcs there TV arc is there and then you got the HDMI there right now just leave that for a sec leave those in now I'm going to switch flip this over to show you something which will also save you a very long hassle now TV arc is here and that is also in the uh, TV arc, in the actual TV. So you got HDMI out arc with the soundbar, as well as the TV arc. They're both connected by the one cord. Now, that will work for your TV if it's Dolby Atmos compatible, or even Dolby Vision. It will work, and you'll be able to get Apple TV for Dolby Atmos. You'll be able to get a bit of everything um, that plays Atmos and Dolby. The thing is, with that as well, there's a little trick to it. But this is pretty much will get you there. Um, we'll get you over halfway. So I'm just going to put this back. So now I'm going to go to the settings on this. So you go to sound. As you can see, the Samba has basically HDMI output on it. Go into that, I'll just show you something quickly. You have TV speaker, HDMI, or Wi Fi, and you have optical. Optical is actually not bad, I've used it. I believe it's. It is, you know, it's in between Wi Fi and optical. I did kind of the same to me in the sound quality. Um, wi Fi may give you a bit better depending on the quality of your Wi Fi and quality of your TV on that kind of area. Optical is actually not a bad choice as well. I actually didn't mind. I've got that set up in the room at the moment. So, I'll just get out of that. Go to Expert Settings. Now you'll see Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital, or Digital, either one. So, go back into that. So, yep. Then, you will see Dolby Digital Plus. That's how you get it. So in order to get that, you've actually got to go into this, where it says PCM. If your uh, TV says PCM written on it, PCM is actually mainly for HDMI. Yes, you're basically saying to me about HDMI gives you Dolby Atmos. Yes, it does, but depending on your TV settings, which will basically transfer across. Now, you, there's one thing you got to understand with this as well. They both produce Dolby Atmos. They're both processes for encoding recoding if they're both fighting against each other for that you're not going to get it it's either one or the other and the only way to get the Dolby Atmos out of the Netflix or out of Apple TV and YouTube is by doing the ARC TV ARC on this put it into there put it there get rid of the PCM put it into Dolby Digital and Dolby Digital Plus will come up with Dolby Digital as well not like this but it'll come up and then just let me go back quickly 
so we'll go back. There we go. No, wrong one. So that will give you um, Dolby Atmos basically from your TV to there. Um, the TV is actually running this. So as a, a TV arc, that's why it says TV arc on it, right? So if you have a TV arc to HDMI arc on this, which is also could be HDMI 4 on your TV, which has arc written on it, it'll work. Just make sure you switch it from PCM to Dolby. If you can do that, you will get it, okay? Just remember, if you're in the unit, <laughs> don't have it too loud like my wife. She has it loud on the TV shows. And uh, I don't mind it, but yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about over time when you're married. <laughs> but look, I love her dad. She actually helped me with this, by the way, as well. So kudos to her. So anyway, we'll get out of this. Now, this is the fun part. I've also switched out the actual cord from the DVD player on the back of the HDMI. So basically the TV from HDMI here, where you have HDMI 1 in the back of the TV, that goes straight in the DVD player. I've actually already pulled that out. So what you're going to do is HDMI 1, HDMI 1 that's in the back of this, so HDMI 1 that's in the back of this, as you can see, so just give me one sec. There we go. There we go. So as you can see, HDMI went in the back of this. Um, will basically run as a picture to it. So if you put HDMI one in the back of this, then HDMI one into the DVD player, and then I'll show you a little trick. This is what got me for a while as well. So, what I'm going to do is switch it over to this. So, I press play on that, switch it straight over through to HDMI 1 on to my TV. Please, thanks, Mama. As you can see. HDR, or as you can see, I'll be at loss. Just give me one sec and I'll show you again. Find your elbow. So, it's got HDMI 1 written there. This is acting like a processor. So, that's alright. So, this is acting like a processor. So, I'm pressing play again. So, the HDMI 1 in this is going directly into this. It's not coming from the TV. It's going from here to here. This is acting in the processor. This is how you get the Dolby Atmos. So, here one sec. So, I press yes to review. This should work. So, <laughs> see? Good job, Harker. Put Dolby job. Atmos. <laughs> and then, if you come up here, you also going to have it into Bitstream HDMI 1, HDR, and 7.1 channel, right? Once you do that, you're okay, you're good to go. But what you're also going to understand as well is, where is it? go to tools. Wait. On your DVD remote, if it has it. So you'll say do, uh, Dolby True HD 7.1. Now, you're thinking that should say Dolby Atmos. Now, here's a trick as well. That's from the TV. That's basically saying 7.1 channel that's on Dolby True HD. But, that's where I got caught out. So you have that on there. But, this is the trick as well, as I said. The HDMI one that's in the back of this TV, unplug it from the, t unplug it from the actual DVD player, put in the HDMI one in the back of the soundbar, put that into the DVD player. As I said, you're wondering about the picture. It's going to come up with the picture. It's basically the processor, like the AV receiver in a way. It's going to give you that picture, it's going to give you everything. And that's how you get Dolby Atmos. So, HDMI 1 from here, into the DVD player. That's the pass through. Now, if you want the actual TV, then, Go to your remote, switch it back to the TV, it'll go back to that. 
take it off PS PCM, off your settings, and put it onto Dolby Digital, which will give you the actual Dolby Atmos out of it. So, but then as I said to you, you don't need to switch back and forth. The only time you need to switch back and forth, if you do, is by doing by remote control. Once you turn that off, go into your remote, TV remote, it will actually go already across to the TV for you. Straight away Netflix will come up and you're back to TV. So you, your DVD player will automatically take over when you put a DVD on and it'll come up to HDMI there and then press play for the Dolby Atmos and it'll come straight up and it'll be fine. Just make sure you go into settings, take off PCM, put it into Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital, and then you be fine to go. It'll come up through that. TV Arc to basically the Arc, TV, I think it was the TV Arc on here or HDMI out, Arc on here. Through that, we'll run the TV on Dolby Atmos as well. Two cords, that's pretty much it. If the pain, they should, the client should have explained it a bit better, but hey, we all learn and we all grow together. But just so you know, basically, that's how you do it. Please tell me if you um, find this a bit more helpful. If you can't, if you don't really understand it, send me a, um, a link or a comment on what you think is better or a link on other videos that you think that pretty much will, would have helped or helped other people and go from there. Um, and one thing you'll know as well, on your settings, this will also come up with HD, um, HDR. The only way to do that is by going to your settings on your TV when you play it through the TV that is, like Netflix. Go on there, switch from Dolby Digital down to Dolby 2.1 back up to that and then go back to there and that should give you HDR, HDR settings on it. If it doesn't, go to the settings on your display. Um, and then, uh, I'm not saying I'm back to the display, but go to your settings, go to the sound, go to there and click on over to that. Either way, there's only two real options that get you there and that's pretty much it. You should be fine. Um, but as I said, last, last repeat so you can understand me a bit better. <laughs> so arc. To up HDMI to HDMI down here, and then that should be it. Your HDMI in the back of the TV, you actually don't really need it, only for the HDMI to the TV if you're watching Netflix to put it through to that, and that's it. It's not running through that, it's running through this, but try and take it out of the HDMI out of actually that if you, if you want, and out of the DVD player and take it out completely. See how you go. You might actually only be using the arc um, from here to here and the HDMI from there to there. That would probably work too. I haven't tried it yet, but give it a go. Have a crack. You know, we're all in isolation here. I hope everyone's safe. Anyway, good luck and uh, God bless. Take care.